Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles, and today we have an extra special video for you. We're here with Camry and also Emma from Kitty's Mama, and we're gonna show you a Halloween inspired tutorial on how to achieve this fantastic hairstyle from Serena Von Vu from Monster High. Now, if you guys don't know Emma and her family over at Kitty's Mama, that's their channel name, they do vlogging, which is amazing, but also Emma does the most amazing makeup transformations. She does Barbie, and what else, Emma? Um, Monster High and My Little Pony. And they're all fantastic, and she does them all on herself, which is very, very sweet, and also amazing because she's only 11, barely 11. So you guys need to go check them out and subscribe. So you can check out the awesome makeup tutorial over on Emma's channel, which is Kitty's Mama. We'll put a link in the description box below. So now on to the wig. Now for the wig, remember you're dealing with a wig hair and it's not real hair, so you're dealing with wefts. The trickiest part to this one was the parting of the wig. So you can see on the doll that there's two ponytails and three little twists and then she's got these really fun little crazy bangs that go up and over. So to begin with, what I'm going to do is create, on Serena you can see, she has a top ponytail right there. So that's what we're going to create first and the twists go right through the middle of it on this right side. So I have left this piece out, we're going to pull these back, like this up and over. Remember we're aiming for a ponytail right at the top of her head. And I am going to reach back behind the twist hair and pick up another piece. Now when you're dealing with the wig, you need to be careful that you don't pick up so much that you show where the wefts are hooked into the wig. So I'm just going to pull up just a little, just enough to give it the look I want, but not so much that it ends up showing all of the little wig stuff. So I'm going to pull this side. And then I'm going to go to this other side and do the same thing. And then I'm going to pull all of that up. You can use your comb to help smooth it out if you need to. Try to get everything the way you want it. Which takes a little bit longer when you're dealing with a wig. Then grab a clear elastic. and secure it. And it's really right on top of her head in the center. So that's where we're gonna put it. And we have the first part of our wig done. Now we need three twists right here. And we're just gonna divide the section so we're pretty much even twisting. And begin on this section. What I did was a rope twist. So I just made sure the hair was nice and brushed through. I divided this section in half, and then I gave them all a twist, a pretty good twist to the right, like each individual strand, and then I crossed it over the left. So every time you're going to twist this side to the right, and then cross it over the left. Twist to the right, cross it over the left. Twist to the right, cross it over to the left. This basically, in essence, creates a rope twist, which is tighter than a normal twist, and will stay twisted looking even when you let it go, where a normal twist would unravel and loosen. Now I'm just going to secure all of the ends of the twist with a little clear elastic, and we have our twisted section done. Now I'm gonna go back to this back ponytail and I'm going to just kind of lift this out of the way for now and flip it over and gently pull all of the rest of the hair to the side. She has it in a side ponytail that hangs to the left. And then I'm just gonna fluff it because her hair on the doll is kind of messy and tousled looking. It's a kind of a messy look. So we're gonna leave it like this, flip this back over, do the same thing right here. And we have a nice look in the back. Now back to the bangs. I'm gonna turn you a little bit. You can see on Emma's, they swoop like kind of straight up and then they fall to the left and they have like a little twirl and a little curl in them. So we are going to 
take our section of hair. I can see. You can see! There's a face under there. I'm going to use my comb and just add a little tiny bit of tease into this section of bang. Just at the very, very root. Just to add a little bit of structure to the bangs. And then what I'm going to do is comb them up. And you're going to kind of create the shape. I'm going to turn it a little bit more forward so I can see. You need to create the shape of where you want the bangs to go with your hands. So we want ours to go up and then do an ever so slight little curl right here. So what I'm going to do is use, this has got to be glued, it's freeze spray. So I'm going to spray a little right in here and then I'm going to use my hair, dry, hair dryer to hit it and heat it up so that it like glues that hair kind of straight up. You can see it's staying pretty good by itself already. But you might need to just hit it again. You can do it even a little bit in the back until you are confident and comfortable that the wig is going to really stay put. Okay, and when we get the lift we want, then we just need to form the curl we want. So I'm just going to take, you can see I have short pieces. If you have a wig that doesn't have bangs, that just has long, this is going to be obviously a little easier because you're going to be able to form it and do a little side curl. Where we're working with bangs, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a twist and sort of curl it so it almost gives like a faux curl right here. This. I want this to curl just a tiny bit more under. So I'm actually going to spray it one more time right here. Each wig is going to be just a little bit different and a little bit unique as you just work with what you want. If that's not even quite curled enough for you, you could touch it with a little tiny bit of a curling iron and give it just enough of a little more curl. But I actually kind of like that. Okay, let's do the final spin together. Girls, are you ready? Let me try this. Ta da! You can see the two back ponytails and then the fun bangs. I know their chairs are like clobbering each other here. I went. Ta da! Okay, I'm gonna show you what you look like. Whoa. <laughs> I dare you guys to wear it to school. No. Okay, I think we should dye it permanently lavender. Just saying. No. I would no. do it. <laughs> I want to dye my hair and it's not a color. I'm just like, I need to. I bet your mom no, thinks that's green. a great idea. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial just in time for Halloween. You can find more awesome tutorials by Emma at Kitty's Mama Channel. And you can check it out here or down below in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe while you guys are over there. We will see you guys next Sunday. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.